Today I will be showing you a showcase of items I've made in a program known as Blender. Blender is a 3D modeler. I'm going to open up a couple of the projects I have now. Right now I'll be known as WCMV. And here's a couple of untagged ones without my name that I'll show you real quick. How about Wraith... Hold up. Actually, yeah, this one does have my tag actually. I'm going to press the A key to deselect all. And gonna drag this to show you a little bit of what it's about. This is a simple fighter that I wanted to create. Um, as you can see, the wings look a bit primitive, I guess, in you know terms of design. Whereas the core of the wraith itself has a more dynamic appeal. Um, also, these weapons I have are particle cannons. Uh, the reason why I say that is because this is actually a model that I've saved in another file. I can open it right now. Now this one I created on myself. By the way, feel free to ignore this here. Let's just drop that out of sight. Now as you can see here, um, basically a cylinder in another cylinder, as you can see. Um, however, the faces of each and every one of these items is going to be different. Let me explain. As you can see here in the inner one, which is actually a bad, bad thing here. You know what? Yeah. The reason why I said that is because the big one's a lot more seen. Like you can see, it's a lot more blatant. It's there. The other one is uh, not easy to see. So each one of these, right now, what I'm selecting is known as a face. As you will notice, there's a face in between all of these that is missing. I took the liberty of taking down those faces in between, so that way I could create somewhat of a more dynamic appeal in that sort of design. As you'll see here, this entire right here is good. It was meant to be a warp gate or some type of warp technology, assimilated equipment, something on those lines. However, I felt that maybe making a cannon or weapon out of it would just be a more simpler approach. Moving on to another file that I have created, which is a Star Fighter. Once again, another basic model, as you'll see here. We basically have the square shape for the main bulk of the body, with half a cone for the cockpit uh, along you'll see also plane I've edited the vertices so that it could make somewhat of a flat surface triangle surface to give the cockpit a full you know shape also inside here you're going to see just four cylinders with uh, top face cut out that way it appears that you know you got dual cannons on both wings also as you'll notice in the back I've created a little drop for a little I guess aerodynamic that may help in the flight or hovering ability of this craft. Now we're going to take a view at something probably unrelated to a lot of craft. Stairs. Yes, I made stairs. These could be used in many instances in probably bigger aircraft if anyone wanted to create a, you know, ability where you could actually go inside a ship and have a FPS moment in there or whatnot. We are going to take a look at another one. What else do I have here to show you? Scout drone. Um, yes, I actually did make a scout drone at one point. Uh, basically, I based it off the Predator model, uh, Predator UAV. Uh, it's only purpose scouting, but once again, basic uh, designs really bulky and could have some yeah a lot of room for fixing okay moving on what else do I have here to show for you that I've made I've also made tunnel and hangers actually no missiles let's go to missiles I've made a 3x3 pack of missiles also I made 3x2 and 3x3 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 so here's 2 by 3 and we're going to be viewing 3 by 2 and now we're just going to view the hangar if I have it here 
Once again, very basic, could use some work, but I just want to show currently what I have been working on. One last, which I could say repair bot, but tunnel. Yep, this is really basic, it's just a, could be used in many instances, like, um, in urban settings, if you want to have a tunnel with, you know, lights at the top, uh, for maybe passing underground, or j maybe just for sake for having a tunnel. And one last repair bot. This repair bot right here, one of the most bulkiest and hardly criti uh, hardest criticized, because it's basically one cube with, uh, you know, me dragging out the cubes out after subdividing into four smaller cubes. I have to go to edit mode to show you. As you can see, the main surface here used to be at 1.1 cube, but by pressing period key, I made it go to subdivide, which put it in four cubes. So after that, I used the E key to drag it out as so. And as you can see here, based on what side you can select, will determine where you can elongate it from. Also with here, as you'll notice, um, with the particle cannon, similar I did with the drill of this vehicle, I cut out every other face, therefore giving it a more, uh, I would say, more dynamic appeal. And that is all I have to show for today. Thank you for watching.